Addressing a sea of red supporters, US President Donald Trump campaigned in Georgia on Saturday for two Republican senators, David Perdue and Kelly Leffler, before early voting in Georgia's Senate runoff elections less than two weeks away. Trump pivoted between baseless claims calling the presidential election a fraud, but in the same breath urged his base to vote for the Republican senators. Let me tell you, this election was rigged, and we can't let it happen to two of the greatest, most respected people in Washington. We can't let it happen again. But some in Trump's party fear his campaign could hurt, not help their chances. The races will determine which party controls the U.S. Senate. If Republicans win one seat, they will retain their majority and be able to block much of Democrat Joe Biden's legislative agenda. The voters of Georgia will determine which party runs every committee, writes every piece of legislation, controls every single taxpayer dollar. Very simply, you will decide whether your children will grow up in a socialist country or whether they will grow up in a free country. The Democrats, who already have the majority in the House of Representatives, need Georgia challengers John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock to win both seats to control the Senate. And they don't Trump have... also repeated his attacks on Republicans who have refused to back him, including Georgia's governor, Brian Kemp. As the crowds chanted, stop the steal, Trump took a swipe at Kemp. Your governor could stop it very easily. If he knew what the hell he was doing, he could stop it very easily. Earlier on Saturday, Trump phoned Kemp and pressured the governor on Twitter to take further steps to help him overturn the election results. The outgoing president's claims of widespread voter fraud have been rejected by state and federal officials. Biden said he would visit Georgia to campaign for the Democratic candidates, but did not give a timetable for his trip.